I'll show you a close up of this, but I gotta tell you, I am not good at this. <laughs> this would never, ever pass for a job done for a customer. I can tell you that much. And I would never profess to be competent enough to charge somebody for this. So at least I know my ability. And uh, the reason, well, I can make excuses. So excuse for me for this is that it, it's uneven surface and an inconsistent gap. So I go from, well, tight, so like an eighth of an inch bead or a quarter of an inch bead to like an inch, let's say, up in a spot like that. So if you can't make just like one tool, tooling tool, that will fit that gap and spread that evenly. And then I can't put it on a sharp angle like that so that it uh, drags it instead of pulling it out. So it just spreads it out in some places and evens it out in others, like pushes it into the joint and then uh, makes a mess, spreads it on evenly. So I'm going to have to go around after I tool all of this. I have a couple more rows to do in the logs and then to do the uh, transition to the flat boards, the lumber. Um, so I'll finish tooling, finish doing those things, and then go, or like doing the transitions, and I'm going to go back over it all with the little scraper, I guess the knife again, and just scrape off the stuff that's like too far, well below the actual gap, where it looks bad. Spots that I, you know, I'm going to see a lot. Like if I'm sitting right here, which I will do a lot, just working on stuff on the table. I'll probably be looking at this corner quite a bit, and then you guys will be <laughs> seeing all my flaws as I focus in on something as I'm filming. Like if I'm filming me in the corner, like this camera is right now, but if you were closer to me, you're going to see all these flaws. So a bit embarrassing <laughs> forever. Yeah, but my point is. That I can't let that stop me from doing it. And so many people say, I don't have the skill to do what you're doing. I don't have the skill to do what I'm doing. And I would never tell anybody to wait until you do to do something. I mean, like I said, it's different if you're doing it professionally and you're charging a customer for something. You don't want to do it like an amateur. But if you're doing it for yourself or you're doing something that doesn't need perfection, then don't strive for perfection. It's just a waste of time. It's nice, I mean, mentally and emotionally to do, do a good job at something and be proud of that, but it's not if you're going to, uh, if it's going to cause too much anxiety or you're not going to do it at all or you're going to procrastinate and put it off because you don't have the skill. Much like I'm doing with the electrical, actually. I still haven't hooked up the lights because I'm not confident that what I've done down there is um, right and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm doing wrong, but for that reason I just haven't hooked it up yet and I haven't turned on the lights. Uh, some of the things I know for sure, like I have to install a grounding rod, but I can't get a, an 8 foot grounding rod driven down there. I've already tried with the sand point well and the, the sand is too hard packed. It's like rock and I can't get it down through there. So I cut the pole into two four foot sections, the rod, and then for my research, it says that I have to place, place those a minimum of six feet apart, which I can do in that section, but I want to verify that. Um, so I make sure the whole system's grounded properly. And same with the grounding out there. And then um, what else? Yeah, I've just exactly how to hook up the wiring of the distribution panel. So I'm procrastinating, not doing it. In that case, a good idea not to just jump and do it anyway, because it could uh, burn the cabin down or shock me and kill me. So you've got to be <laughs> wise about where to, where you are going to be a perfectionist when you're, and where you're not. But like I said, so many people saying, I can't do this, uh, so therefore I'm not going to, or they can't do something else in life. Just do it. I mean, so what if it's not perfect? Be perfect enough or I'll be happy enough with it, I guess. And that's what I've learned. I do... I am a perfectionist in my mind, but I almost never actually carry out the, the task perfectly. Um, so it does give me anxiety. I do stress over getting it done right and also making it look good over time. So over time, I'll keep looking at these <laughs> bad joints and, and uh, 
not uh, and letting it stress me a little bit. So I have to overcome that mind issue, mind mind uh, block that I've got. So there's all kinds of things in here that are like that, and it's just going to be the way it is. But like I said, I would never build a cabin like this for somebody else. I will be happy enough with it for myself and my family. But if I was doing it for a customer, I'd wait, spend way more time to learn how to do it right and have more practice somewhere else on something that somebody's not paying for or, or an apprenticeship. That's why I was a sheet metal apprentice, well, which is why it's embarrassing that I'm doing such a poor job because literally almost every day of the eight years that I did spend in the field as a sheet metal worker, I bent metal and, and installed it and then we had to caulk all the joints and then caulk. So it's sort of like a joint like this where this was a piece of uh, eight foot metal flashing that turned into that joint to shed water off of here. That entire joint where it goes into usually like concrete or wood or something would be caulked and caulked neatly. So I've done thousands of feet of it, many thousands of feet over and over time and got okay at it while I was doing that. But here, yeah, <laughs> so that's why my excuse is somewhat valid. Nevertheless, it doesn't look great, but it looks better than not doing it. And it's forming the uh, function too, don't forget. Like, functionality um, is as important or more important than aesthetic. So in this case, what I'm doing is sealing the logs to keep mice and critters out of it and to keep uh, weather from infiltrating from the outside right through into the building. So I would be doing it regardless of whether it looked better or not.